Hello friends, I'm Parwais and this is our 18th video in Python Ruby development with PyQt5. Uh, in the previous video, we have learned how you can create splitters uh, in PyQt5. So this is from the previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a slider in PyQt5. So now let's get started. I'm going to create a new Python file and uh, I call it PyQt5 slider and uh, uh, for this, like always, I'm going to copy some codes from my previous video. So I'm going to just copy all of them and paste it in here. So I don't need Q main window, I need a Q widget. Uh, let me remove this push button. And uh, also, I do need to this Q rect. Change this to Q widget and change the title to pyqt5 slider okay now after this i'm going to uh, just set these so you can see in here i have title left top with height and i can name and after this i'm going to set these so set window title window icon and geometry and at the end i can show this so self dot show and also let me just copy uh, creating the object so like this you can copy and uh, paste it in here <coughs> okay now I have created uh, application object and also window object uh, now I if I run this you will see that I have a nice window okay now uh, for creating a slider, so let me first import a Q slider. Also, I need a Q edge box layout. Uh, I need a Q label. Okay. Now, after this, <coughs> uh, in here, uh, before showing you a window, uh, creating a slider is so easy. So, let me create the object of slider. So, cell slider, a uh, Q slider. Now let me just uh, add this to my edge box. Oh, first let me create an edge box layout. So edge box, Q edge box. I've created the object of the edge box. Now I want to add edge box dot add widget, and I want to add myself dot slider, and I want to self the set my window layout. So set layout to edge box. okay now let me uh, run this and you will see that I have a slider so now you can see I have a slider but uh, there are two kind of sliders that you can use we have a horizontal slider and we have a vertical slider so let me just uh, add a color style sheet self dot set style sheet and back ground dash color and I want to add a green color so let me run it okay <clears throat> now you can see uh, I have a horizontal uh, uh, slider uh, I have a but you can change this uh, for example this is a vertical slider but you can change this to horizontal if you want so let me just uh, cell dot slider dot set orientation and uh, also let me to import from pyqt5 dot qt co import qt and uh, in here i want to add qt dot horizontal so now if i run this now you can see we have a horizontal for this uh, also you can for example there are some more uh, uh, useful attributes that you can use for a slider so let me sell dot slider dot uh, set tech position so you can set the tech position uh, for this I need a, a dot uh, tech you can see we have tech above tech below uh, for this I'm going to choose a tick below now if I run this you will see I have a tick bar uh, that is 
below of my slider so you can see that this is the text bar and uh, also you can set a uh, tech interval so cell dot set tech uh, set tech oh sorry mm, dot set tick mm, oh sorry so dot slider dot set tick interval and for this for example i want to give it one but you can give it if you give it 10 and it will have 10 interval so if we run it you can see we have 10 interval in here uh, like this <coughs> now uh, this is uh, let me just also you can set so cell dot slider dot uh, set minimum for the minimum I want to give it zero and cell dot slider dot set maximum and for the maximum I want to give it hundred okay uh, like this also uh, uh, you can connect a slot to the slider signal we have a value changed uh, signal in a slider so when a user uh, for example change the slider uh, there will be a change so for this uh, I'm going to uh, create a label in here so uh, label Q label and right now okay so just I'm going to give it zero and la label so first let me give it cell dot label and now cell dot label dot set font QtGUI dot Q font and for the font I want to give it 50 okay now uh, let me just add this to my hbox layout so hbox dot add widget and I want to add my label okay now if I run this you will see that I have uh, a label and also I have a slider <coughs> now you can see this right now the uh, uh, this is zero but uh, I want when a user change this the, this should be changed so uh, for this first let me uh, create a slot or method in here diff changed volume first I need to get the uh, slider uh, volume so you can get cell dot slider dot volume and after this I want to set this to my label so set text and convert this to string uh, I want to set the size uh, now after this in your slider you can connect this self dot slider dot value change uh, signal dot connect and this is cell dot changed volume okay now this is my complete code and um, let me run this hopefully I don't get any error <coughs> now I'm waiting for this okay now right now uh, this is zero but if I change this now you can see uh, it's changing to 100 because the minimum and maximum is the minimum zero and the maximum is hundred. So thank you guys. Um, I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.